So that's how I would do it. Raphael protecting his baby brother with his life. Fucking up a bunch of bad guys. He won. He's standing there. Blood drenched up and down. Size drenched with blood. Falling to the ground. To his knees. Sees his brother's fine. Sees that his family gets there. Finds his brother. Like Leo Donnie finds his baby brother. Looks at the three of them. Smiles. Falls down. Dies with a smile on his face because he knows they're fine. <clears throat> That's how I would write his death scene. <laughs> if I was forced to it, like, he was right. <clears throat> but thanks for the questions once again, Anacondas101. Bill Bon Jovi asks, have you ever tried to be a filmmaker yourself? If not, why? Ever been to film school? Will you ever go to film school? No. Bottom line, laziness. <laughs> this really was laziness, and I'm just not really interested in filmmaking and film school. I like talking about films, but that's different from being a filmmaker. So, that, that's mainly why. Multi Super Reviews asks, rank the actors from best to worst who played Batman. Uh, from best to worst, uh, I liked Michael Keaton. Then Val Kilmer. Then Christian Bale. Then George Clooney. I know I said I thought Batman and Robin I can laugh at, but... I mean, Christian Bale, I know he was trying, at least trying, but the voice sucked. That's why I hate it. George Clooney wasn't even trying. It was just, I'm George Clooney and I'm Batman. Hey, Freeze. I'm George Clooney. No, I'm Batman. It's like, but I like Michael Keaton and Val Kilmer. I don't like Christian Bale and George Clooney. And I say Michael Keaton is my favorite. I would say George Clooney is the worst. Flash roll. Hey Matt, how are you? Doing well. How was your New Year's? It went fine. Thank you for asking. Have two questions for you. Are you looking forward to the new Superman film and why you're hoping for Expendables 3? Not really looking forward to the new Superman film, mainly because the trailer didn't do anything for me. I didn't really see any shots that went wow, any money shots. The whole dark tone that looks like it's trying to go for, I don't really know if that works for Superman. I don't really know if you need that for Superman. I just, nothing really about the trailer stood out to me. Nothing about the trailer really intrigued me, so I think that's mainly why I'm not looking forward to a new Superman movie. It just... I don't know, maybe I'm not as big of a Superman fan as I am. Maybe I'm more of just a Christopher Reeve fan, because I like his movies. I don't know, I just... I'm not looking forward to that. It's been almost three, not really looking forward to it either. Uh, if John Woo does direct, cool. I just, I want a good script, I want a good director, I want some good... Toughest Nails action. I want less of the winking to the audience. I want Dolph Lundgren to do more. If Jelly's bad, let him do more. Randy Gator, Terry Crews, take him out of the movie or kill them off or whatever. Stallone, Statham, okay. But give Dolph more to do. A lot more to do. Give Jet Li a lot more to do. If Jackie Chan is doing it, give him stuff to do. Let's have some good villains. Do you have them stuff to do? If you don't have R on Bruce Willis back, you should have done what you should have done in part two is make them the villains. Which I thought is what they're, but I don't know. They're not going to happen now. So I don't know. I just, just want better action and better intensity. That's what was lacking in the second film. Intensity. There was no intensity to it. To the action scenes, nothing. Just shitty humor in my opinion. So... 
Movie guy Trent. Did you get bullied in school? And what kind of social group did you hang out with? Yeah, not really bullied in school. More like... I know so they made fun of me because I like Tremors. Like, for some reason, they thought I made up Tremors too. Like, that wasn't a real movie. Which I was just laughing. Like, oh, you guys are idiots. Uh, social group... Mainly just kept to myself because I just wanted to get my shit done so I could go home. When I get home, I had nothing. I don't have to worry about school. I can just do whatever I want. And if I did, it would be a couple people I know. A guy named Lonnie and a guy named Matt Davis. Uh, hang out with them. Mainly because we would play hacky sack. Sometimes, like, if you hit it a, couple, a certain number of times and you grab it, you can hit someone they're out. So play hacky sack a lot. Colonel Consequences asks, which movies have blew your mind and left you awestruck? Blew your mind and left you awestruck. I don't know. I don't know if there's a lot of movies that did that. Uh, 127 hours. I could say did that. I just say 127 hours. Um, I know there was time when I saw Driver Ryan Gosling, like the second or so time, I kind of felt a little bit like that. Um, Jacob's Ladder would be one. Uh, Jacob's Ladder would be one. Um, Oh, those are the ones I could think of right now. At least for me. What is your what is the best historical movie film that you can recommend? Medieval, Civil War. I don't know, I'm not really a big historical guy. Uh, Glory with Matthew Broderick, uh, and uh Morgan Freeman, Denzel Washington, you have Glory. Medieval. I know you have films like Excalibur, you have films like First Night, you have films like this and that. Historical, the historical as far as I go by is like Vietnam, which to me would be like Platoon, Full Metal Jacket, Hamburger Hill, Couch Fees of War, Uncommon Valor, which really that's... It's about Vietnam, but it's not historical, but, uh, oh, there's not a lot of movies in those time periods that I'm really a big fan of, to be honest. Um, at least for me. Ninja Super Sport asks, Matt, you're my favorite movie reviewer on YouTube. Oh, that's very kind of you. I like to do all the time. You know your shit, man. Oh, thank you. What do you think about the Shout Factory Stream Factory Blu-rays? Uh, maybe I'll send you a Blu-ray one. I got four copies so far. I have Halloween 2 and 3 and two copies of Funhouse. I purchased one myself and got an extra for Christmas as a gift. It says I got two copies of the same. If you don't have it, you're welcome to get one of mine. If you want, I think you did a review of Shout Factory a while ago. Yeah, I did a video about Shout Factory, uh, Stream Factory, being a big fan because I had uh, Halloween 2 and 3, the Halloween 2 and 3, being very impressed with them, thinking they're really doing a great job. But yeah, Ninja Super Sport, if you really wanted to send me the fun house, yeah, I would, I would take it, absolutely, that would be fine. Uh, thank you. The Fun House was a film I saw once a long time ago. I remember not being the biggest fan of it, but I would be willing to give it another shot. That's fine. But shout Stream Factory Blu-rays. I think uh, Stream Factory is doing a fantastic job. If you're wondering what I'm typing, I'm trying to find their what's coming out because I know there's a... Why am I brain dead now? The Nest, which I look forward to. Prison. I really look forward to Prison. I really like the fact they got Prison. I know they're doing Phantasm 2, From Beyond. I heard Night of the Comet. That's going to be cool. Night of the Comet. Uh, 
I think scanners two and three, which is interesting. Uh, shit, well, come on, where where is it? Oh, not shell factory. I'm talking about screen factory. Come on. There we go. But yeah, the nest. Uh, I'm trying to find the thing. I think they're doing a fantastic job. Yeah, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, I think were fantastic. Uh, they Live, I really enjoyed. Uh, thanks to very good people out there for that. They Live was really good. The Nest, I really look forward to. comes out February 19th. Prison, I look forward to. Terror Vision, the video did. I've never seen those. I'm sure that'd be interesting. Life Force. Um, that's a film I want to give another shot as well. As I see in these films, like Standards 2 and 3, that's interesting. I love, love, love the fact that they got the horror show and the vagrant. The horror show and the vagrant, I am very hyped about because I really enjoy those movies. Uh, the vagrant, I only have VHS. Like the horror show, I really, really look forward to them. I really do. Uh, Night of the Comet, I think that's very cool they got Night of the Comet. So, Night of the Comet, Horror Show, The Vagrant, Scanners 2 and 3, Life Force, Video Dead, Terror Vision, because I've never seen those two. Prison, The Nest, I really look forward to those. I think they really do a great job, and I look forward to... I've heard rumors that they might do I Come in Peace, which I really hope is the case. I really, really do, because I would love to see that. I mean, I, I really look forward to what they do next, and the covers are beautiful. Like, the Halloween 2 and 3 covers I like better than the actual covers. They Live is a fantastic cover on the Blu-ray. Really fantastic job Stream Factory's doing. I think they really are the guys like uh, Anchor Bay used to be, in a way, and... Uh, I really like Stream Factory. If there's a DVD company, Blu ray company, I give a number one to it, would be those guys. Those guys, I give big props for because they're doing stuff that I wish the studios would take a hint at. So I really like what they're doing. But thank you for the kind words. As well as the question, but yeah, the fun house that would be fantastic if you, if you really want to. I mean, that's fantastic. Uh, Kiss Demon Queen asks, "Hey Matt, great reviews. I have a question for you. If Sylvester Stallone did not get the part as Rambo, who do you think would have made a great Rambo? And to make it interesting, if you could send a star from this time to that time to play, to play it, who would it be?" Uh, I, I, I really can't see anyone else other than Stallone playing Rambo. I really can't. I really can't. Um. To be honest, I, I could not see another guy playing Rambo. I just, I, anytime, if, even if I put someone in, I might like, just wouldn't fit as Rambo. I think Sly just did Rambo perfectly. And I just... I'm sorry, it's. I want to answer the question, but I, I can't think of anyone who would do Rambo justice. I really can't. Not Schwarzenegger, not Bruce Willis, not Mickey Ward, not any other guys. I, I can't think of anybody. I know you had other actors that pass on. I'm like, I don't see them as Rambo. I just, I don't at all. I really don't at all. Even the start from this time, I don't see it like. Thomas Jane or Carl Urban, and it's like nah. Even for you know for Rambo, no, nah, I just I can't see anyone else playing Rambo. Yeah, from this day or that, I just I couldn't. I only I don't think anyone else would have made a great Rambo other than Stone. That's just my opinion though. But anyway, thanks for the questions.